wanna what what? What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> what I tell you about? I was just doing a little video. Oh. oh, you're gonna do the video, bro? I'm doing the video. Well, he's gonna do the video. <laughs> Let's get back to the real interview, will we? guys and this is my custom x15 review now I've had this thing for I would say around 10 years 10 11 years I got it around 2009 yeah 10 years and I've had it ever since and this is one of the first things I ever painted when I went to school in Lincoln Tech now and it's one of the first things I airbrushed as well at some of the uh, airbrushing here which I'm not super proud of some of it but I am because it was one of like I said it was the first thing I ever airbrushed or painted they came out somewhat decent. Now the only thing I don't like about it is uh, some of the skull. This skull right here is a little bit brighter than this skull here. And you can see I like the way this one is ghosted in a little bit more than this one is lighter. And the same way on this panel on this side over here. I don't like the way these look right here. You got a little scuff. Like I said I painted this like Ten years ago, nine, ten years ago, these look really good. It's got a few little scuffs and scratches. I really like this side of the bike. This, the ghost flames here, the way they're ghosted in, really nice with the candy green, and um, it looks fantastic, you know. And uh, I thought it looked pretty good. And uh, this bike here is a 110 cc bike. I don't know the horsepower on it, but it's fun. It's a four-speed. It's one up, three down. And if you look here, come over here, it has dual disc brakes. Dual disc brakes, front and back. Mine are kind of, uh, the front brake doesn't work right now because it's been setting so long. And my master cylinder right here on the handle got kind of messed up. It's all gummed up and I had to get into one of those. But like I said, it's been sitting for a long time. I did a lot of custom work on this, this uh, bike right here. And I'll show you, I'll try to show you a picture or find a picture of what it looked like before. And these things, uh, you know, they're not around much anymore. They're kind of sought after right now, which uh, they're not going for too much. But you can get a used, cheap one that's been worn out for about $500. But I, I, what I did was I took everything apart, custom uh, painted the frame black. I painted the brake calipers here, red. And, uh, of course, I painted the body. But one of my features I like back here which I did a little carbon fiber painting on and uh, what I did was I took a toolbox matting I painted it green I painted this whole part green everything green taped it off put the toolbox matting on sprayed my black over the toolbox matting take the toolbox matting off and then ghost a little bit more black light coat of black over the top and then clear coat it and it gives you that carbon fiber effect of what we got there and this thing right here does have electric start. I don't have a battery, a new battery in it right now. Um, and it has kick start as well. So if your battery goes dead, you can still kick it off, ride it back to the house. You don't have to worry about that. And usually it kicks off in the first kick if you got it tuned right, which mine is tuned pretty good. It's got a key. Key so nobody can steal it, which this thing would be hard to steal in the first place. But it has a speedometer. It also has your um, battery gauge and it tells you what your gear you are in so and it has a little horn and uh, what I'll do right now is <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start it up for you I'm gonna have to kick it off here so when you're kicking this thing you want to have it in neutral obviously and you don't have to pull the clutch in but you just give it a nice you want to get it that just right there I want to do some more. Now that I've got it out, and now that I've uh, kind of got a more of an interest in it, I want to do some more. So what I want to do, and I'll make another video later on, 
is I want to take the swing arm to make an extended swing arm or make one myself I want to extend the swing arm back about eight inches extend the swing arm and I want to re relocate the exhaust if you can come back here and take a look at this exhaust right here what I want to do is eliminate these I want to make my own custom little plate right here take these dual exhausts out and once I extend this I want to redirect this exhaust and put a real carbon fiber small exhaust on the side right here muffler on the side right here just to give it the aesthetics of a real sport bike you know what I mean I mean these don't look bad but I'd really love to have that just that muffler on the side right there a little carbon fiber on the side and um, basically that's it I mean the gas tank is really small on this thing so the gas didn't last that long but, I mean but I mean you're not gonna be riding this thing to to town or to work or anything like that this is just for fun and it is fun it's definitely fun and I just want to do this review and then uh, I want to do some more custom stuff to it so I'll probably make another video later on about it but um, that's about it that is my custom x15 super pocket bike 